Finally, I want to show you the last piece of our puzzle. Real physical testing on real roads with real vehicles. If I, as a researcher, have gone through the training process collecting data with the Mobility Data Center, and I've tested that and iterated on my algorithms in our naturalistic driving environment, our simulation, I've used MCD OS to create test scenarios there, and now I'm ready to validate those and really check them out on a real physical vehicle on real roads. How do I do that? This behind me is how we'll do that with MCD 2.0. Here at MCity, we have a test facility of about 18 acres, representing six plus lane miles of, of roadway, complete with nine intersections, uh, traffic lights, street lights, robotic proxy vehicles that can stand in for people, whether you're walking around on a road, sidewalk, bicycling, what have you. We have all of these things are, are automated and available. So the final piece of our puzzle then allows me as a researcher to send MCity the code that I've developed, the algorithms I've developed, and MCity will load those onto a vehicle and run my experiment for me in which I can participate in real time. What you're seeing on the left is a real world view of the infrastructure, cameras in the infrastructure, other sensors, the augmented reality that my vehicle will be presented with, which is a blending of that simulated world with the real test facility. So this is a view of that. And then finally, on the right-hand side is my vehicle's algorithms. I can see in real time, whether I'm here in Ann Arbor or down in Texas, California, wherever, I can see how my, my algorithms are performing based on the statistics and information that MCity is sending me in real time through MCity OS. And of course, after my tests are finished, all of my data is uploaded to the cloud and I have access to it um, you know, in the full fidelity that I need to make changes and improvements to my, my algorithms or publish my research. This is the final piece that we intend to make uh, open through MCD 2.0, through the National Science Foundation's uh, generosity to academic use across the United States.